Hi Dresser Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to be drawing a baby in a B onesie from Bloom's Baby Pop. And if you've been following me, you know that I already drew one which was a baby in a unicorn onesie. And because you love that video so much I um, and you kept requesting I draw more, I'm definitely doing that today. But like last time before I get started, I had so much fun popping these baby pops. I wanted to do another one for you and hopefully we'll be lucky enough to get either a unicorn or a bee one today, right? So that's what I'm hoping for. So here we go, another <laughs> package. And this one is their series two, Baby Pops from Bloom. And I just love this part, of course, right here, because you have that little pop sound there. It feels like you're literally pulling a carrot out of the dirt, right? So here we go, let's see what we get today. And um, so there's all these options you can, let's see here, let me pull up one first. Oh, and what well, you know what let's unravel this one before we pop up the next one make it a little bit more exciting right <laughs> yay we got a little doll right here and these are all onesies so you can all take them off right here whoops right here you can take off the onesie and then you can soak these in uh like it says right here you can soak them in ice water and then you can reveal the gender of your baby and they're scented too. Ooh, wow, this one smells like bubble gum, yum. Mm, that smells really good. Okay, so we have one baby. Let's see how many babies we get and see how lucky we are. So here's the next one. Oh, this one's not a baby, but let's see. Oh, see here, we got some glasses. <laughs> so see that <laughs> right here, some accessories and Let's see, what is this? A little lady, oh no, like a caterpillar and a little flower wand thing for our baby. Let's see if we can put some of these glasses on our baby here. Ta-da! <laughs> Pretty cute, right? Oh. <laughs> hey, you're never too old to play with these things, never. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's the third one. Yay, we got another baby. Let's see if we can get three. I think three is like lucky, right? Aw, this one has a sh uh, seashell one with the pearl right there in the back. And let's see what this one smells like. Hmm. Oh, about the same. Okay, let's see here. I haven't, oh, I haven't gotten those uh, animal onesies yet. Let's see, oh, it's another one right here. And oh, this one has a, like a little bear thing on top, like a gummy bear one right here. Hmm, I this one smells like a melon. Wow, oh, that's so cool. Okay, and let's see here. The last one. Oh, right here. Okay, let's see what we have. And it's another, wow, we got four this time. Wow, very lucky. And so this one's like a scoop of ice cream. Hmm, this one's like a, some kind of berry. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, like you can soak them in ice water, it says, and then you can reveal the gender. And this bottom part right here, now that I know, <laughs> you can actually, has it actually has more stuff in here. So let's see what's in, maybe the onesies are in here. Oh, okay, so this thing has those little bee things that you can put in water and they become those pearl things. And there's definitely more stuff in here. And let's see here. Okay, now this one has something in the back. Okay, I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's like another, oh, it's another onesie. This, oh, okay, here it is. This one's the lion. Oh, <laughs> no unicorn or bee, but here's the lion. So you do get a lion one on this one right here. Oh, that's so cute. So then you can also, I guess, turn this thing into like a swimming pool, I think. There's like some ladders or something in here that you can put on, uh, turn into like a water thing with swimming pool and then you pour these dots in here. That's what the instructions say. <laughs> and, um, and then you can put your babies in the dots and have all this fun with them, right? So, so cool. I mean, it's just like one little package with so much stuff. And that's what's so awesome about these Bloom dolls. So, um, 
today, like I said, <laughs> thanks to your uh, votes on the My Community page, you wanted me to draw the B1Z for you. And so that's what we're definitely doing today. So thank you so much for voting and let's get your Sharpie or your pencil ready and your piece of paper and let's get started. To draw this cute baby, let's first start by drawing the eyes. So I'm gonna come right here and draw a big circle. And come right next to it and draw another one. Put right here. And so let's make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm gonna come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. Okay, so now let's come over here on the edge and let's spruce up this eye and give it a lash. So um, let's come down right here and we're just going to give it one thick lash. And then on the top, we're going to add three more. So smaller ones, one, two, and three. So same thing over here. So just come down, a curve and thicken it up and then just add one, two, and three. And so then let's come above the eye, but right here, and I'm just gonna draw a curve above each eye, so about right there. And now to draw the pacifier. So right in between the eyes, say about right here, I'm gonna start with one curve, then round it off on the sides, both sides and connect it. And then right in the center, I'm going to add a circle. And so then I come back to the top right here, right in the center. And we're just going to draw a curve around it and taper it in. So same thing here, curve and taper for the pacifier. Okay, so now that we have that in, we can start to draw the face. So let's come out, um, say where your eye is, the top of it, and I'm just gonna go really close, but right here. And I'm gonna start to draw a curve around the eyes. So same thing here, really close to it. And we're just kind of aiming to draw like an oval for the top of the head, I mean for the face. So let's bring it really, um, let's see, bring it down and start to kind of like the bottom of a U and connect. From there, let's draw the top part. So I'm just going to continue this up to finish off my oval. So about right, I'll just give myself a point. So it's just easier. So I'm drawing pretty big. So about right there. And then I'll bring it down. And connect. Okay, it's a mess. <laughs> but I'll fix it up. Okay, so then let's um, give this baby some hair. So right in the center, I'm just gonna draw a curve and then wobble it up. Curve and wobble it up. There. Okay, so now we can finally draw the onesie. So I'm gonna come back to imagine this onesie. We're gonna have to draw the hood. So about right here, just gonna slowly bring this out. 
to just imagine it being tapered into the right here. Bring it out. And I'm just going to bring this curve around the face. So whatever is easier, if it's easier for you to come down this way, you can draw it from the top. So say about right here. It's all up to you. And so now I'm going to go find my center, come up, say about this much, and connect. It's just easier on my hands to do it this way since I can't turn the paper. <laughs> okay, finally done. Now let's uh, let's see here. Now let's draw the body. So we're going to come about right here and here, nicely centered. And I'm going to bring out a curve. So we're kind of drawing like a B, right? Oh, I mean, we are drawing a B onesie. So I'm going to bring it in. So unlike the unicorn one, it's not just going to be round. At the bottom right here, we're going to give it a little soft point because it is a B, <laughs> kind of like the stinger. So about right here, we're just going to come down a little bit towards the center, round it off and back up. I just gave it a tiny little point. Kind of looks like a lemon, right? Then let's come back up with some details. So right here in the center, I'm going to draw a circle and the bow. So I'm just going to draw two curves that come out, two loops, and then the tail. And the inside, so right here for the curve, for some detail. And um, let's see here. We can come over here and draw some wings. So right on the sides right here, just draw two tiny little wings. Curve, and then another smaller curve. So same thing on this side. Just dragging some points approximate. So in, and one more. There. <laughs> so cute, right? Okay, so then now let's really make it look like a bee and give it some antennas. So about right here, I'm just going to pop out a curve and then add a circle. I'm just come in here and thicken this up. And same thing on the other side. So about right here curve and add a circle. There. And then because it is a bee, I thought it'd be really nice to add a flower up here. So let's start um, the center about right here. And I'm just going to draw my center petal. So it's kind of like a leaf. And then I'm going to bring it out on both sides. And fill up the space. And one more here. And last one here and here. It's kind of like a lotus, I guess. <laughs> there. And so then now let's add some stripes to make it really look like a bee. So um, for the head, we're going to make it round. So just imagine this curve. So it just gives our bee here some volume, our baby here, the onesie. Just imagine it going across. And I'm going to thicken this up. So let me make sure I'm at the same level, about right there. Okay, so um, let's draw three here. So one more here. Right across, approximate. And thicken it up. And one more. Um, about right here. So just give it a slight curve. There. 
and then the bottom, of course. So I'll save it right here. I'll start and just kind of following, giving it a curve. Yeah, thicken it up. Make it a little bit thicker. And one more. There. Okay, so now I'll just come in here and um, fill it all in black so you can see a little better and just make any adjustments I need. So that's pretty much it, except of course I need to add a heart right here. So. <laughs> So they're all done. I really hope I made this drawing easy and fun for you to follow along with me to draw this cute little baby in a bee onesie. But before I go, I went off camera and uh, <laughs> I fitted the little baby here with the uh, lion onesie. So cute, right? We can see that. And um, definitely let me know in the comments below if there's other uh, onesies. I know you guys voted uh, for the bee one, but there's just so many other ones. There's like giraffes and ducks and crabs and uh, dinosaurs. There's just a whole line of them. So definitely let me know in the comments below if you want me to draw more of these babies in these cute little animal onesies for you. So thanks so much for watching Jurassic Cuties and I will see you soon with another video. So please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cute videos. See you later.